Hi, I'm Nixie, and today's video happens to be the 60th video for this channel. And I thought, what better way to celebrate 60 videos than also celebrating 60 years of Doctor Who? So on TV this Saturday, they're going to be airing the first in a trilogy of special episodes to celebrate 60 years of Doctor Who. And I thought, what better way can I join in on the celebrations than by doing a sort of Doctor Who themed room? Now I love watching Doctor Who and I've watched all of the modern era episodes starting from Christopher Eccleston and I can't wait for this Saturday and the return of David Tennant who was the 10th Doctor but now will be the 14th Doctor. So let's get started on this room and see what we can do to sort of Doctor Whoify it. So first up in this space here I want to include what has to be one of the most iconic Doctor Who things, a TARDIS. So I'm going to be doing sort of like the front of the TARDIS as a sort of fake door I think it's going to work. I think it's going to look all right. And I have actually seen people do this in real, like like real themed rooms with a TARDIS version of the door. So we're going to make this out of paper. So here are my pieces. I used two sheets of blue A4 card. I printed a couple of bits out from the PC. Got a white bit card, which was actually food packaging that I cut out. And then just a bit of recycled plastic. To start off, I think I'm going to do the windows at the top. So with these really thin strips of paper, I'm going to put one across and two down. I think I'm going to use sellotape though because I'm not 100% sure that glue is going to stick it properly. Okay, so both doors have the window dividers sellotaped in, which means we can now stick the bottom part of the door here. And the top part with the card and the plastic will be going up here. Now I am just using bog standard print stick to stick these on. Just sticking that down. Right, and just squidge it all down. And this is the start of our TARDIS door. Now I will admit I did mess up when I was cutting out. I originally wanted to put this around the outside but I cut this, then cut the inside bits, and realised I should have cut them smaller. So I've had to do this as some separate bits because I only had two bits of the cardboard and didn't really have room for error. But yes, I would have preferred to have it so that this was going to go round. But like I said, instead, we're going to have strips and then this bit at the top. So these strips are now going to be just slightly overlapping when they go on just because it needs to have a bit of depth you know what? I might actually also sellotape these on rather than glue just because they've only got a tiny bit of place to touch and I don't know it's gonna hold very well like I said just a bit of sellotape please excuse like some of my food packaging and just secure it on the other side so now that the sides are on just gonna stick this bit at the top here and now for the very top part just gonna stick all of those and the final bit of blue will be at the bottom here so that is the basic tardiest door and we've just got to add a couple of little extra bits of decoration this is the little light at the top and we're gonna just stick it down get it in the center Doesn't have to be stuck on too well because this is going to be stuck onto the wall so it's not going to matter too much. Police public call box will be going along here and then the instructions they go and we're going to stick them here and that is our door to the room. So this is the door in the room it is ending up pretty much as high as the room which I cut at 14 inches so maybe a touch taller than I should have gone for but I think it's going to look good but before I actually stick it down I do want a border for this room and for that I've printed out these stripy patterns inspired by the fourth doctor's scarf so I just wanted to sort of check the level of it before I stuck it down I might do it about there for the border there we go border glued door glued and as a final little touch 
I have bent this piece of metal which I'm going to use as a door handle. So I have poked two holes with a needle into the door and I can just push it in. So now it has a handle as well. And just for a bit of size comparison, here's the door next to a Barbie. So depending on which bit is the actual real door, I think it sort of works. Just a quick note, as you can see, this is the doll I unboxed last week, and I did put her on a made to move body. This is the tennis player body. I think it's a little bit pale for her. I think looks doll number eight would have been better, but I didn't have that to use. It's not a bad match. It's I think it actually looks worse on camera, if I'm honest. You can sort of see the more yellowy tone compared to the skin there. But if I get a look eight at some point, I am tempted to swap again. So next up, I think this space needs a coffee table. So I'm going to do a Dalek-inspired coffee table. So I've got this bit of black paper and I've divided it into segments. So the ends are just one centimeter, but all of these 12 segments are one and a half centimeters. And I've just used a ruler to help me bend all of the different segments. So once all folded, the two end segments I'm going to glue together and it ends up in a sort of like heart shape. Although not romantic as it's a Dalek, but kind of was the best sort of shape I could get to be Dalek-esque. So that's our shape. And like I said, this is only inspired by, it's not like full on Dalek. So I'm going to have that as the sort of legs of the table. And I've cut a bit of sort of black foam board that's going to be the actual table part. And then just folded another bit of the paper. I'm going to put it inside and glue it to either side just so I can then put a bit of glue on that to support the top. And it also does help support the shape a bit. So put it this side because this side's neater. We're going to keep that side to the back. I just can't seem to cut foam board like so it looks nice on the edges. But obviously to actually make it more dark like I have these really cool golden pearls. So on each section I am going to be placing four pearls along it and then it's going to give us a sort of Dalek look. So here it is with all the studs and actually I think that's now looking a lot more Dalek like. I did also go around the edge of the table with a gold pen, just so it wasn't grey and would look a bit better with gold. Just going to put some glue on the top. And then I can stick the tabletop on. So this coffee table with a nice hint of Dalek. While I've got my mat out, I do have an idea for a lampshade. I really want to make a Matt Smith Fez inspired lampshade. So I've cut out some red felt and I'm just going to glue this around here. So I'm using a glue gun, I'm just going to do just a small section at a time and wind it round. I do want to have it be a bit um, larger at the bottom and smaller at the top, so I did cut, cut this, let's see it's slightly sort of curved and hopefully we can do that with this and how we sort of attach it at the end. So it's glued around. And now I'm just going to do the very end to glue that together. And that's going to be the back of our lamp so we won't see the join. Now to make it a touch neater on top I am going to glue it to another piece of felt and then cut around that. start cutting around and there's our basic bez. Now for the tassel I've got some embroidery thread and I've just cut a little section off and I'm gonna tie it around. So once like that I'm just gonna sort of pull apart the end so I've got lots of loose threads. And now I've ended up with sort of a nice little tassel that I can attach to the middle of the bez. 
So to attach the tassel, I've just got it through a needle and I'm just gonna thread it in the middle, like about there. Pull it through. Then I can decide sort of the length I want. I think that's quite good. And then I'll just tie a knot at the right place. So, there. So there's the lampshade for the fez. And for the stand I'm just going to use something I made previously. It's just a dowel painted black, this little wooden circle again, it's sort of glued together. And I've kind of just got some blue tack and a bit of paper here to kind of fit. So that inside and we're gonna have our lamp. Okay so we've got table, we've got a lampshade, I kind of want a shelf up there. So I've just made this out of faux board again and did the gold round it like with the table. So it's quite a simple little shelf but I'm gonna glue it up there. Okay I think that works but before I put anything on the shelf I just film this sofa's looking a bit bare, so let's just chuck some cushions on it. So I made these two starry cushions because, you know, Doctor Who travels in space. And I've also made this little one here with my slightly dodgy sewing skills. So felt, just some embroidery thread sewn across it, but it's sort of to symbolise the previous stock, uh, number 13, Jodie Whittaker, and sort of looking like her. So for the shelf, let's just add a few little bits on top here. Got some mini books. I've got this mini hourglass, which I don't know, it just feels sort of appropriate because Doctor Who is about time and space, so a bit of time related thing here. I happen to own a TARDIS pin badge, so we'll chuck that up on the shelf. And I also have quite a few of these very adorable adipose, which is a Doctor Who creature. And I got these just years ago because they're adorable. They are also weirdly appropriate for the 60th anniversary because not only is David Tennant returning as the Doctor, my favourite companion of his, Catherine Tate as Donna Noble, will also be turning up. And the first proper sort of non-Christmas special episode of her as a companion featured the adipose. So, it all links. I really do just love them, they're so cute. Now as this wall over here is also looking a bit bare, I'm going to add a clock, which I've just used a bit of the leftover TARDIS card and I printed out a clock face. I've also put the time as quarter past five because apparently that was the first ever episode air time. So just thought let's pick a sort of thematic time. And also because you can't have Daleks without Cybermen, I've just done a little bit of wall art to stick on here. And then as a final touch, I'm going to put a rug here just to cover the space in front of the door. So I've just done this out of felt and it's inspired by the Seventh Doctor's jumper. And to be fair, question marks in red are quite a popular theme as it's also appeared on the collar of other Doctors. And here it is in situ in front of the door. So now, before the adipose completely take over, I just want to thank you all for watching as I created this Doctor Who sort of inspired living room. If you like this video please do hit the thumbs up, if you'd like to see more videos please do subscribe. Big congratulations to Doctor Who on reaching 60 years, I'm very eagerly awaiting the new episode on Saturday, I'm hoping it's going to be amazing. Let me know if you're going to be watching too and I will see you all soon. Bye!